in this flood and the 74 flood, which some of us in this room can remember. I was an article clerk at the time. I had to climb 18 floors to work every day. None of the partners, curiously, came to work for about three weeks until the lifts were back working, but the article clerks did. Um, but one of the biggest differences has been the press coverage. I got emails from all over the world um, asking if I was all right, which was pleasant and, and heartwarming. Um, but we did have friends who were actually holidaying at the time for the whole of the time of the floods in London and they said, if you believe what you'd seen on the BBC, you would have thought that there was nothing left in Queensland. And that is a big challenge for people who operate offshore, particularly tourism. But it's a big challenge and it's one that, that, that we're facing uh, with reinsurance. You've actually got to tell the story in London that the whole of Queensland didn't disappear under mud, that business is up and running, that, that yes, there was widespread effect, but that the whole of the economy has not disappeared into, into, into the bottom of the river. Um, and, and it is a challenge because the perception with, with the coverage is, you know, you didn't see the bits that weren't covered. Now, I know a large part of Queensland was covered, but a large part wasn't, and a lot of business was not affected. Um, fortunately, of the 1,500-odd firms, some of them very odd, in Queensland who are members, um, we, we only have um, current information that under about 20 firms were directly affected, as in being flooded, blown away, having to move premises. Many of them were affected for a short time, not being able to get into premises, uh, but, but I think the profession can count itself broadly fairly lucky. Now, that doesn't mean that people haven't suffered personally. It doesn't mean that a lot of their clients haven't suffered. It doesn't mean that they work and operate in communities which are significantly affected, and a lot of those effects will go on for, for many months, if not years, uh, on the basis of the experience, certainly of the Victorian bushfires and even of the 74 floods. So um, I think that there are ramifications about weather, there are ramifications on business and how we run our businesses. And one of the things that we will be doing is talking to members who have been affected and putting together um, a bit of a checklist of, you know, it, it would have been so much better if I'd thought about that beforehand or if I'd not done something or if I had done something as a bit of a, a risk management um, business continuity checklist. And we'll be working on that and, and trying to get it out to members in the reasonably foreseeable future. I'd like to, to thank uh, our, our first two speakers. I'd like to invite you for a, a short leg break. There is more food, there is sustenance. Um, if we can come back, please, in 10 minutes.